Hello everybody, RetroGuy25 here. I'm gonna do a review video uh, today about a uh, Super Nintendo game. Usually I, I might do PS2 or Xbox, but maybe I've been doing Xbox reviews and stuff like that and whatever else. But uh, today is gonna be a review about uh, a certain uh, rare game called Earthbound. As you can see right here. Earthbound, which is the second one, but we didn't get the first one until much later for the Wii U. And uh, it's on the Super Nintendo Mini. So, yeah. Super Nintendo Mini, Super Nintendo Classic, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is what comes with it. I didn't add this. I didn't hack it into the system. With Hexy, this, this is the default game, so right here, all these are. That folder brings the and games that I did edit to it, but this here, all the other games are with it. But that comes with it. But anyways, here's Earthbound for the Super Nintendo. Now, it's by Nintendo. Uh... Like I said, the first one we didn't get into called Earthbound Beginnings, which is basically the first one, but this redone or something, I don't know. I'm gonna skip that. Uh, I should let it focus first. It might focus. Sorry about that. Medium. Stereo. Uh, plain flavor. I don't know why it's so being so blurry. Hmm. There we go. There you can see. A lot better now. Sorry about that, everybody. But yeah. Uh, this is the second one that came out in Japan called Mother 2, but we got it as just Earthbound because there was no Mother 1 over here. So they didn't call it Earthbound. And then this one called Earthbound 2, which is, they could have called this one Earthbound 2, but there was no Earthbound 1 until Earthbound Beginnings. For, uh... For the Wii U, there's Earthbound Beginnings, but I'm not sure if they put the first one on any other console yet, or whatever, but... Uh... If they did, that, that's pretty cool. I mean, the, it be, putting Earthbound Beginnings would be pretty cool to put on the Switch, that's for sure. Uh... Anyways... I'm just going to... Uh, let me see, one, two, three, four, five. Five letters, all right. So, yeah, f five letter names for any of the characters, or four letters, five, something like that, I don't know. I'm gonna name him Ness. So, I'm gonna go to small N E. Where's the alphabetical order? So, S, S. And I'm gonna go to OK. I'm gonna do the OK name her too. Okay. But anyways, I'm just doing the name stuff, so... I'm not gonna care. I'm just gonna review it. Just name them whatever, you know. Let's name the first one what I want to name them, because... You know. Let's 
this name or whatever. Just make something up. So yeah. BDFG. Bad Dow Duck. Oh. Need a pet. Okay. I need a pet, actually, something. I can name him Cody. Because that was my. One of my friend's dog's name, but he passed away years ago. But, uh, may he rest in peace, but I'm gonna name him Cody. Cody. Okay. And then, favorite home food. And I'm just gonna... I don't think it'll correct you, so... I probably put don't care, so I, I should be doing that. Rocking. It works. Yep. I'm quick. Yep, because I don't. I don't give a. The year is 1990X. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I wonder if I can skip this. Can I skip this? I don't know. I don't know if I can skip it, everybody, but probably not. Probably because most games back then, you couldn't really skip a lot of stuff. You can skip some company intros and stuff and stuff like that sometimes but you couldn't really skip cutscenes usually it wasn't really much of a thing back then at least not back in the 90s at least not in the early mid 90s um late 90s uh would have been more often but not as much still but a lot of games you could skip on the playstation 1 So, yeah. I got 20 bucks and 30 HP. That's your start off point. 20 bucks, which is nothing in this game. But uh, it's something, but it's nothing. Because some things can be kind of expensive. You don't seem scared, are you? But yeah, it's one of those RPGs. It's an RPG game, as you can probably see. Some of you that doesn't know. Um, it's an RPG, and it's one of those RPGs that, when you go into battle, it's first-person mode. So you don't see a character, but it explains what's going on. But at the same time... I think it's actually pretty good, uh, for the most part. Uh, there's some stuff that some people might not like about it, but I may not make it that far to explain stuff, so I can tell you some things. Like, for example, you can teleport, but when you first get the te teleportation ability, uh, you, nothing can't be in your way, and you gotta have a long, wise distance, and you gotta get up, to, and you gotta... And it's and you, and you gotta run from here to here, or you know what I mean. Like nothing can't be any way. It's gotta be straight through all and keep on going until it until you zoom out. 
I mean, you know, like until you like, uh, uh, flash off the screen, you know, run off the screen or whatever, and then the, uh, you teleport to whatever area that you chose, as long as you've been there before. But yeah, I haven't really played this in a long time, so... I haven't really played uh, this game in many years. So it's been quite a while. So I'm just kind of figuring out as I go and whatnot. But yeah, it's I think it's an okay game. What not? So, it's a little different. Uh, like I said, when you get to the battering part, uh, when I show you in a minute, like I said, it goes into kind of like a first person mode. <clears throat> a first person kind of mode, so you don't see characters. Not like Final Fantasy or like our games, like, uh, you know, it's not like when it's not like Super Mario, uh, RPG, Legend of Seven Stars, it's not for, for, for person view like that one, or Final Fantasy games, or and it's not like games like, uh, uh, what do you want to call it, I'm trying to think of the name, but, uh, uh, like games like that, for an example, it's not like any of those, it's not like Golden Sun, for the Game Boy Advance, that's why Nintendo, you know, it's, you know, it's kind of like, uh, think of it, think of the gameplay kind of like, um, Shining Force, or Fantasy Star, at least the earlier ones, or it's kind of like that. But, yeah, uh, it's got decent graphics, it's, you know, the game engine kind of looks like a Pokemon game, but it's not really a Pokemon game. I mean, it's Earthbound, so it's got a different story, different characters, and different stuff, and whatnot. So, you know, uh, it's different. So, yeah. Yes, I am. I, us two are friends. <clears throat> okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, but if I can't figure out, I guess the review is going to be kind of short because I don't want it to be way too long. <laughs> I can only record only. I can record as long as I want. I can't. I can only record only so much footage because, then again, I use my phone. I, I may have said that before, so most most of you might know. But a lot of you that doesn't know, I use my phone to record stuff, so I can only go up so high. I mean, I managed to get forty something minutes, uh, but if. If it goes over thirty, if it goes over a certain amount of time, it breaks it up automatically into into two parts or more. So yeah, uh, then I gotta, you know, 
uh, piece the clips together. <laughs> I just figured to do that. Okay, now I figured something out. Later that night. All right. Sorry about the small text. I, I kind of uh, didn't want to zoom in too close because I'm not sure if it's going to get blurry. And I try to keep it, you know, I try to keep the game pretty much uh, like uh, as I try to keep I try to keep it focused as much as I can for the game. I might need to put on my clothes first. So let's see. Is it in here? Oh, wrong one. Check. Okay, maybe I'm supposed to go to the front door. I don't know. Like I said, it's been a while, but like I said, there was stuff that this game has. Is that I can tell you without spoiling too much. Is that um, it has pretty good music, and a lot of the music is actually pretty catchy and stuff, and it's really good. It's got some guest moving time music and stuff, and it's got some strange time music and stuff, and there's all kinds of places that has neat music and stuff, and all kinds of neat like s sound to it the sound is good the graphics are good but um, i like the graphics i think they're pretty good for for being a super nintendo game um the dialogue well it, i guess it can be pretty good it seems to be pretty good to me uh when, when i last time as far as i got in this game the last time i played it um i think it was pretty good um but yeah, it's, I don't know, I don't know what, what, what else to say about it, except that, okay, yes, I will, I'll do that, but anyways, um, but yeah, this game, this game has, I think I can change my clothes now, I don't know. Okay, maybe that's not what you're supposed to do. Oh, I didn't want to go back up. Talk to. Okay, here we go. Alright. Now. Got my clothes back on.
All right. Cordy joins you. Yes, I do. Equip, weapon, crack bat. That's the only thing I got right now. Cord, I done. Okay. So that's the thing about these games and uh, Super Nintendo games, any game on cartridge, they can save like super quickly. Your dad can get a little bit annoying, but you don't really see your dad, you see your mom. <laughs> it's like he's just out and about on business or something 24 7 because as far as I know you don't seem to see your dad I mean it's maybe not until towards the end but I don't know huh. here's the battle part this is what it looks like bash and it tells you what's going on right there so this is what it looks like And if you win, it says you won. So, yeah. Um. Oh, uh, I think he gets the first attack. And do bash again. I'm hoping to win this. Oh, well, I'm at, I'm down to 14. That's not good. Okay, I won. A cookie. I love it up a little bit. Okay, good. Cookie. Use it. 23. Alright. But yeah, it's... It's a little different. It's a lot different than a lot of other RPGs. Uh, in some ways and stuff. He knocked me down to 8. 
I might lose if I don't. If I don't win this, well, I guess I'm starting. O I guess I'm starting over again for my last save. Well, I lost that. This is the game over. Game over. Game over. A game over for right. It's like a typical game over. Yes. I'm gonna give it another shot. This time I'm just gonna go straight that one way. I got him from behind, so I think I get the first attack. I'm gonna just keep bashing it because the first enemy should be pretty easy. I mean, you think so, anyways. <clears throat> but yeah, and I won. But yeah, pretty much this is like most, most, most part of the game. The stir like I said, the story is pretty good. It's pretty, it gets pretty intense and stuff, so yeah. But, okay, let's see, you gotta, gotta find his brother. Now he gets the first hit, so I'm probably gonna die and you're gonna have to start all over again. You attack all kinds of, uh, Odd stuff in this game. This is an odd stuff that you might fight in this game. I'm not gonna spoil too much, but just for a little bit of a spoiler, for the heck of it, what you do in battle is for some reason a kid out of our veins has to uh, fight police officers, like bad policemen, and, and they fight back. So they're actually hurting a kid. It's it. Back then, I think that would have been controversial, but I, there's probably a, I, I would think there would be a reason behind it. Like, maybe they're mind controlled or something or whatever. Gigas or Gigas or Gigas or something, I guess. I think he's like the main, uh, what do you want to call it? The main, uh, what do you want to call it? The main, uh, uh, villain. In the whole game, I think. I think it's Gygus or whatever. The main main villain is Gygus. Or Gigas. Gygus, how do you want to say his name? But, anyways, uh. I think he's the main main villain. I believe so, from rev the reviews that I saw and whatnot. So yeah, uh, otherwise than that, uh, that's pretty much what I, all I got to really say about the, uh, game and whatnot. I mean, it's okay, but, oh, I died. It's a pretty hard game too, so it's pretty challenging, so, as you can see, I'm having a hard time. But yeah, it's pretty hard. Uh, it's pretty darn hard. I mean, like, you gotta get really lucky and, and everything else. You gotta. You gotta play cards right and whatnot. Just like any other RPG, you gotta play cards right and just uh, uh, hope for the best that you beat the RPG. Hopefully, you want, 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 hopefully at some point you beat the RPG. Now for me, I haven't, I haven't beat the RPG 
like myself. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't beat myself a single RPG, but I at least tried to. Like this RPG that I'm trying to beat is Breath of Fire Three. Now Breath of Fire Three is for the PlayStation One. Uh, you can download it on digitally on PS3. I think I think you can get the first one on PS PS3. And I, I don't know, but it's it's a PlayStation only game as far as as far as I can recall. The third the third Breath of Fire in a way. Is only on PlayStation, as far as I can recall. But yeah, um, and I leveled up again, even though I started I started back where I left off, and I saved it. Ah, uh, I got lucky right there. But yeah, it's different. It's a little different. Uh, it's a little something for an RPG. It, it takes quite a while to figure out certain things and what to do and stuff like that. Oh, I don't want that. It, like I said, uh, the last one I got to say about this game before I cut off the video is that it's got a lot of Dialogue, you know, it's got a lot of story driven stuff to it, whatever's in it. It's a pretty good, decent game. Is it one of the best RPGs of all time? Well, that's up to you to decide. I mean, to me, uh, I like it, but I don't love it. I like it a lot, but I don't love it. I don't actually love the game, but I think it's pretty darn decent for what, what they did. And whatnot, but I don't know. It's just I'm not into RPGs like this one as much. I'm more into Final Fantasy and games like Breath of Fire and stuff like that. You know, now the Breath of Fire series that's been dead for quite a while. There's only like six games in this game. But anyways, um. Alright, well, but anyways, um, but yeah, it's got some neat, decent effects and all kinds of stuff, as you can see here, and, and what you see in the battle mode and stuff, but yeah, um, other than that, I'm going to cut it off, and, uh, talk to you uh i'm gonna talk to you guys uh during my christmas special hopefully right on the 25th i'm gonna make it and then later on on christmas like christmas evening or something months ain't too late i might get out on the same day if not then it'll be out definitely will be out on the 26th so it might be a late christmas special but hey it's still in December, so darn it. Just, uh, I would, I would still watch it, it, even if it comes out like a day later or something. But I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna try my best to get the Christmas special out on, uh, I mean, not on Christmas. Well, it may, well, yeah, on Christmas, if not Christmas, then at least in December itself. Because it's, it's still like a, about a week to go after the 25th, obviously. So, yeah. Alright, well, that's all I'm gonna show for now. Uh, for the game. I might do, uh, another, I, I might do some, another game like this game or something for a review. I don't know, but this was just a request to review and to tell you some stuff and show you a little bit of the game and do some stuff 
and talk to myself about what what I was reading and of the game and doing whatever and figuring stuff out, you know, kind of, you know, enjoy myself at the same time. I was trying to, but anyways, that's all for now. So I catch you all later, and uh, I'm I'm hoping that for anybody that wants to join in for the Christmas special, I'm hoping to get a lot of reviews for the Christmas special. Uh, not reviews, but uh, a lot of views for the Christmas special. If not, then uh, well, I, I'm doing the best I can. So, you know, a Christmas special can be all kinds of Christmas joys kind of showing. So, yeah. Um, I'll catch you all later. And uh, please subscribe if you want to keep up to date. Just to subscribe to keep up to date and stuff. Hit the all all notifications bell and uh yeah uh that's all i got to say so uh you, all of you have a uh good one and uh i'll catch you in the next few days so see ya